you can guess, that's probably got something to do with Java, which it does. So that's normal as well. If you got Java installed, you're going to see this. Um, sometimes you're going to just see no name. You're going to see the class ID here. If you're ever wondering what that huge string of numbers is, that's called the class ID. Um, it's basically a unique identifier for ActiveX controls, um, various DLL entries, OCXs. <coughs> that's stored in a registry. Um, that reference is eventually a DLL file which gets executed. Um, let's hijack this will actually show you the file name if it can link it up and follow it. Uh, if it cannot find a file it will say that there is no file. Um, in that case you probably want to remove it anyway since it's not being used. So you can go through, same thing, check it, uncheck it. Uh, you got the H key local machine run entries uh, for local machine and current user. Uh, what these do is as soon as Windows starts up, it checks these registry entries to see what programs it should run as soon as the Windows shell starts up. So all these programs are starting up as soon as you log into Windows. The ones for local machine run no matter what. If you uh, log in as your profile or somebody else's profile they're going to run either way um, the ones that are H key current user run just depending on your user profile you can actually say don't run this for my profile um, unfortunately most programs do not make that differential and say no matter what it's going to run uh, I'm going to show you one here that <coughs> is a good example when it's not really needed um, if you're running Windows Vista, it's common to see Windows Defender. That's fine. Um, the C650.01 sound. If you're not too knowledgeable on computers, you may go, well, that sounds a little suspicious, but uh, that's for our sound control panel down here at the bottom, bottom right. <coughs> Excuse me. Probably another reason why I didn't do too many videos the last uh, week. Uh, my voice is getting a little sore from doing these. Uh, so that's that program. The AI Remote Help. That's the ASUS Help Program. Um, remote Control Assistant. Uh, we do have a, an ASUS board in here. <coughs> the Sun Java Updater. Uh, and here we go for one we do not need. The Adobe Reader Speed Launcher. Um, as you're going, well, I have Adobe. I use that. I read Adobe documents. Should I delete this or not? Uh, well, basically, all this thing does is it loads up Adobe Reader for you to uh, make your Adobe documents faster to open up. Now, I want you to think about how many times a day you open up a PDF document. Go ahead. Think about it. I'll just check the box while you do that. Pretty much never. Uh, you might open one up one a day. You might open it once a week, every other day. We might open one once a day here. The speed of Adobe opening up is not a high priority to us to cause our startup to be slower. So, I'm going to put the checkbox there. And that's on our list of things to remove. Uh, we got the HP software update. We got the uh, EH tray. Uh, you're going, what the heck is that? That sounds pretty suspicious, huh? Uh, if you have a Windows XP Media Center or a Windows Vista Home Premium, uh, that is a normal entry in there. That's just your Media Center tray, basically. Uh, so that's no problem having that run. <clears throat> Even if you deleted it, it's just going to come back. Uh, think Microsoft Office. Um, now you got your global startup entries. You got your Adobe Gamma Loader. We got Adobe Photoshop and Start, so that's normal. HP Digital Image Monitor. That's for um, HP special buttons, whatnot on there. Uh, printers, scanners, multi-use machines, and Microsoft has a useless startup entry here. Microsoft Office. 
basically that helps your Microsoft Office start up faster. Again, I go back to how often do you open up a Microsoft Office document a day, and how necessary is that for it to start up an extra 10 seconds faster? If that. <clears throat> so, I check that one to remove it usually. Extra button for AOL Instant Messenger. Extra buttons for Java. Extra buttons for more Java. Uh, really removing these isn't going to hurt anything. Uh, but if you have spyware that you do not recognize, this is another way for that program to run. Because that button has to be displayed. Uh, so this is a way for that code to actually be executed. I would definitely recommend removing any extra buttons you don't need. It's not going to really hurt anything if they're supposedly necessary. Um, then we got in here uh, odd TCP IP settings. Uh, in our case, this is normal. Uh, we got a name server in here. These are your DNS servers. If you go into your TCP IP server, TCP IP settings, <clears throat> you're going to see these in there. That's normal. Uh, for us, but for you, you're probably doing a DHCP. Um, if you're not familiar with DHCP or what a DNS server is, chances are this entry should not be there. You should probably remove that. Just put the checkbox there and keep on going down the list here. Uh, then you have your services. Services are programs that start with Windows uh, <clears throat> are either set to run when a program requests it or are set to uh, run automatically with Windows, like I said. All of our here's are normal, what we expect, uh, which should be running, so I'm not going to mess with those. But if you got uh, something that's really out of place, doesn't make sense, uh, not part of another program you installed, you might want to remove that. Um, <clears throat> so it does not hurt. Other things you're not seeing on our list here are the wind logon entries. Uh, this is a very, very popular way for spyware to get into your system and stay running. Um, if you used Spybot Search and Destroy or Adaware to remove the spyware, they do not remove the wind logon entries. At least the last couple versions I've seen, they do not remove that. Um, basically, as soon as Windows starts up, that's it. Those things start. It's basically beyond the services before they start. As soon as you log into Windows, boom, start. It's built into the Win Logon task, uh, which is pretty much as soon as Windows starts. <clears throat> you go through, you try and kill the program. They usually automatically restart themselves. You go through, you delete that win logon entry, they go through, they put themselves right back in. You cannot get rid of them. The only way to get rid of them is try starting up in safe mode. Try using hijack this. If you're lucky, you'll be able to remove that. If not, what you gotta do is make note of the actual file name start up off of a Windows CD going to recovery console delete that file get back into safe mode immediately go into safe mode do not start up normal Windows if you did you just reinfected yourself go back repeat the process <clears throat> but get into safe mode remove that entry make sure there's no other copies of that file in your system because it will go oh it's not in Windows system is it in Windows System 32? Is it in the Windows directory? It's going to check all your valid paths. Uh, make sure that stuff is gone. Then you can restart computer your computer normally, and that should take care of that entry. Well, that's one of the more annoying ones. So you just got some free spyware edumacation. Um, once you check your programs you want removed, your entries removed, just hit Fix Checked. It will ask you, fix the two selected items. This will permanently delete and or repair what you selected. It is permanent. Make sure that you're sure. In this case, I'm sure I hit yes. And I go through and scan.